Hi there. Now the one word on everybody's mind these days is the UK strain. The world has gone into a panic response. Flights are being cut as well. But the big question now is how will India determine who has this UK strain and who does not? Well, that's the key on everybody's mind. For now, let me give you the big news. So far, this UK strain of the virus has not been detected in India. But is it only a matter of time before it is? And when it does, how exactly will you isolate those people? How will you identify those people? Let me tell you that with a very simple illustration and we are back to our whiteboard for that. We're talking about the super spreader strain of the virus, which officially is called in this very complicated VUI 20. 2012-01, it essentially means it is the first train that is being investigated in the December of 2020. Now, India does something called a molecular surveillance. Now, molecular surveillance is something that has been going on in the country since the time the pandemic actually broke out. It is of two kinds. But let's take a pause over here. Before I tell you what is this surveillance, how it is detected, it's important to understand how do we identify that this is the UK strain after all. So in this molecular surveillance or investigation, the scientists and the virologists are looking for something called the genome. Lots of new words that you're learning today. Now, essentially, a genome is something like what you and I have as a fingerprint. All individuals have unique fingerprints. Similarly, every strain of the COVID virus has an individual genetic fingerprint. That genetic fingerprint is unique. And thus, what has been found in UK has already been circulated across the world. Now, as one scientist put it, genome is basically the kundali of that entire virus and that strain. It's the horoscope. It tells you everything about the virus on how deadly it is. When did it come into force? Will it spread more? What kind of reactions it will give on the human body? All of that. So now that UK has identified its own UK genome and the genome of that super spreader virus, all India has to do is identify the same in India, map it, match it and say, well, here it is and isolate those people. But it's not as simple as it sounds. At the moment, how do we isolate? How do we understand which positive patient has the UK strain and which one does not? So back to the molecular surveillance then. It is done with two kinds of sections basically. One is a regular sampling. A regular sampling is something that is picked up as a random survey of a couple of people who have tested positive and it is sent into these labs. They try and identify what are these new strains. India also has a lot of new uh, sort of strains that have come up as well. And then the other one is the all important investigative. Investigative molecular, molecular surveillance. Now, in the investigative molecular surveillance, those people who are testing positive, traveling from UK, those travelers, their samples will be picked up. They will be sent to the top institutes in the country, like the National Institute of Virology, like the ICMR, etc., where the virologist will look deep down and try to find out the genome. Is that genome? coming in from UK uh, passengers, the same as the one found in UK. And that's when you get to know where we are. It could be the one from UK. It could be another strain that has been found in South Africa, or it could be a new one which has been discovered right here in the country. That's something that all the scientists will be working on. For now, the hunt for this super spreader UK strain is on.